That's right. We're heading back to Nagani for our next game of the week for a battle between the Calumet Copper Kings and the Nagani Miners. The last time these two teams met up earlier in this season, the Miners offense could not be stopped. Gerald Johnson added five touchdowns for the Miners with Philip Nelson showing off some more versatility by not only catching two touchdowns, but also kicking and converting all of the extra points. The Copper Kings trailed that entire game, but had some pretty solid possessions to allow them to get the ball moving. Now it's always tough to beat the same opponent multiple times in a season, but Nagani is ready for the challenge. Uh, a lot of respect between the two programs, um, between Coach Crows and the Calumet Copper Kings and, and, and this staff and this team. I uh, feel like the rest of our kids, uh, you know, they're obviously going uh, to try their, their best, uh, give it 110% in order to try to get a, a win this Friday night, but uh, it's going to be a challenge and, and uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity. For me, I, I love competing against Nagani. It's, all, it's, it's, uh, all, it's always a great thing because you really gear up for it and they gear up for us and I, I'm expecting to see uh, one heck of a crowd on a beautiful Friday night. Uh, whole UP should turn out because it's going to be an epic matchup. The Copper Kings will make the journey back down to Irontown tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And that is all the time we have for you tonight. But before we sign off, make sure to tune in to the fifth down tomorrow night on Local 3 News at 11 p.m. Eastern for highlights from all of the action across the UP. Also, make sure to tune in to next week's episode of the Sports Zone as we're, we're going to recap all of the action from week two of the playoffs. Thanks for joining us and have a good night.